Hi, I'm Emily, and in this video I'm going to talk you through how to bulk export media for children from Tapestry as a zip file. This is something that you might want to do at the end of the academic year for relatives, as well as exporting the children's learning journals. This is because when you export the children's journals from Tapestry, they're exported as a PDF, so this won't include any videos for them. If you want to learn how to export children's journals from Tapestry, do watch our other video about this. But in this video, I'm going to talk you through how to bulk export media for children, both individually and also in bulk, as well as how to make this downloadable for parents. To do this, you will need to be a manager on Tapestry, so if you're not one, do share this video with them. You'll also need to be logged in to the browser version of Tapestry, and that's through tapestryjournal.com. So without any further ado, let's get started. Once you've logged into your Tapestry account, as I have here, you'll first of all need to go to the control panel. To access the control panel, you just need to click on your name in the top right hand corner and then select control panel from the drop down. Once you're on the control panel, you just need to select manage children from the left hand side menu. Now that we're on the manage children page, firstly, I'll show you how to do this for an individual child. To do this for an individual child, first of all, you'll need to find their name in this list. You can use the search bar at the top of the page to help you. Once you've found their name, you just need to click on the cog button at the end of the row and then select bulk export media. I'm not going to select this now because the options are exactly the same, so we'll look at that after I've shown you how to do this for a group of children. To bulk export media for a group of children, you just need to select the tick boxes at the end of the row of the names of the children that you want to do this for. If you want to select all children on a page, you just need to click where it says select items and choose all. Now by default there are only 20 children per page so if you want to do this for all the children on your account you just need to scroll to the bottom of the page and where it says 20 per page click on that and then select all but i'm going to leave it as just the children on this page selected you'll see once you select those children that there's a pop-up box in the bottom right hand corner you just need to click on that drop down and then select bulk export photos and videos then just press go. So on this export page is where you can go through all of the different options of what you want included in the zip files. So I'll talk you through them. At the top, you can see all of the children that you've selected to do this for. If we scroll down, you can see the different recipient options. So for staff or for relatives and you can select both. So I'm going to do that now. Do be mindful that the media for staff and relatives might be different depending on whether you've set it so that relatives can see media in group observations. You'll see that when you select the relatives option, you also get some additional options, which allows you to set how you want relatives to be able to download the zip file. So either you can give them a copy or you can allow them to download this through their own Tapestry account, which is what I'm going to set them to do. Then if we scroll down again, you can set what media you want to be included. So photos, videos, audio files and documents. Scrolling even further down, you can then select the date range. You can see that this is blank at the moment, which just means that all media for children from when they started up until now will be included. If you want to limit the date range, you just need to click into the boxes to do that. Then if we scroll down, you can see some options if you selected for the recipient to be staff as well. This allows you to select what type of observations you want the media to be exported from. Then finally, at the bottom, you can select the file name. 
Leaving it how it's auto filled at the moment will fill in the start date and end date for you as well as the child's name. Now remember you can export the media for children as many times as you want so do feel free to have a play around with these options. Once you've decided on it all you just need to click on start bulk export. Once you've clicked on that it will confirm for you that the media is now being exported and you can either go back to the Manage Children page or you can go to your Downloads page which is where you download the media from. And that's what I'm going to do now. You can also access your Downloads page at any point just by going to the Control Panel and selecting Downloads from the left hand side menu. Now at the top here you can see the zip files that I've selected to be exported. You can see the name of each of them, who's selected to export them, in this case it's me. You can also see the child that the media is for as well as who can download it and when it will be deleted. Finally at the bottom you can see if anyone has downloaded it yet. To download the file you just need to click on the download button. If at any point you want to delete any of the exports, you just need to click on the cog button and then select delete. So that's how to bulk export media for children, both individually and in bulk from Tapestry. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful.